Hey tribe, welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe here, the energy, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is always greatly appreciated. Um, so collective message for this weekend, all signs are placements, very general messages, you guys. So please keep in mind that it may not entirely resonate with you. Just take what does and leave what is not for the next person. Um, I'll put this card back, but the bad health card just popped out here and instantly I'm hearing love sick. Okay. So I don't know if this is you guys, or this is someone in regards to you. Okay. Or somebody um has put themselves in a very like unfortunate situation it just kind of feels like somebody is like sick to their stomach it could you know it could be you know literally but it feels like they're sick in regards to like the way a situation played out or is going to play out or something that's being revealed something that's found out like somebody is just like Sick, or maybe you are sick of something or someone, a situation here. Um, but yeah, the bad health card, card number 31 has popped out. Um, 31 could be significant to some of you guys. All right. And then we also have the courthouse here. So a Libra could be significant or something about like a contract. Okay. Uh, there could be something going left. Okay. Or going bad or something that's like declining. Um, but it feels like it's in regards to someone outside of you guys okay like i it, it could be you but it doesn't feel like it's you guys' energy so let's just see what comes out um now two songs that i got for the collective for this weekend the first song was connect by drake and the second song was the weekend by SZA. um so i mean those songs within themselves we got official person here um I don't know. It could be a little bit messy. I'm kind of getting that there's a situation that you guys may have been trying to work out or connect the dots, you know, or connect the dots to or figure something out in the past. Um, and I feel as if you guys have like moved past that or you've released that or you've just let go of that situation. It's kind of like, you know, it is what it is type of energy. Um, but I also feel as if there could be someone resurfacing for some of you guys, um, trying to get you to settle okay this could be in any type of manner it doesn't have to be romantic it could be business um it could even be like a friendship or someone else in your life a different type of relationship it's like they're trying to get you to settle for what's the, for less than what you deserve okay it's what i'm picking up for some of you guys um but for some of you there could be some sort of information here we got the thoughts card popping out and false person there could be some sort of information that was hidden Okay, uh, that's coming out that makes you feel a certain type of way. We got the gift card, mature man, and home also. So let's just move into the messages, all right? If you haven't already, please go ahead and like the video, comment, I comment back, share, and of course, subscribe. The more you interact here with the content on the channel, the more I push your energy into these messages, and I can better pick up on what's going on with you. Um, flat out, some of y'all are just figuring out that somebody, like something just wasn't the truth or somebody was lying to you in regards to something or someone. Okay. We have a privileged lady. It's feeling kind of messy and I feel awkward because I'm not trying to make the reading like dramatic. Okay. Or messy or low vibrational, but with the privileged lady here in the thief card, some of y'all could just be finding out about another person, like the other man, the other woman. Okay. You could be finding out that somebody here, um is married or you're just finding out that something just wasn't the truth or wasn't the full truth here yeah because we got a privileged lady here and this is giving me the energy of like a wife okay or someone who has the title someone who has a position but then we have thief card which is giving me like lying type of energy or something that's false okay because if you lie you will steal and vice versa okay now i'm just hearing the whole if you lie you steal if you steal you'll kill but it's something. Somebody's shady. Like somebody has not been as upfront as they have been claiming to be. Privileged lady, the thief, and then behind that, we got the main female. So it does feel a bit me uh, messy. We got wealthy man and we have child. Yeah, coffin. It's like you're finding out about something or someone. A, a child could be involved, but whatever is being revealed this weekend with the coffin card transformation, I feel like it is putting an end to something. Okay. The number 20, somebody could be 24 years of age. Okay. The number 24 could be significant. 
community. There's a lot of talk going on in a community or this. If this is not you, this could be happening around you to like a friend or a family member. Okay. Well, let's see you guys. Messages for the collective this weekend. We'll start off with the Kipper deck. Okay. And then we'll move into the energy deck and then a tarot for extra messages. Okay. So the bad health card is steadily coming back out now outside of like everything i just said you guys could just be not feeling yourself this weekend um you could be feeling a little bit under the weather all right but then we got the thief card what i'm really getting is like there's some sort of like either karma that's circling back around or somebody has been lying finessing cheating double dipping living a double life like somebody has been doing something and whoever this thief is whoever has been in that manipulative low vibrational energy they could actually be falling like sick physically in some sort of way um this weekend or it's like whatever they were doing is exposed it's not working anymore it's like somebody being found out here imprisonment yeah all right, somebody's being trapped in their own web of lies, their own manipulation, their own ways. It just feels like someone's, you know, whatever bad karma they've been putting out is like really catching up to them. And it feels like something's going to be exposed or put on blast. I don't know if this would be social media or if it would just be like a, a group, a collective of like friends or like a workspace or something like that. Um, a group of people finding out about it. But let's see. Mature man. Okay. Could be a gentleman, a masculine figure. This is um, in regards to messages for the collective this weekend. Who or what is coming towards the collective? Mature man and main male. It's all these people, first of all, and high honor. Okay. It's a lot of people involved in whatever's going on here. A lot of people in your energy or you're just hearing about like this drama that's taking place this weekend. All right, so let's see. And you may have been trying to like, if this is not your situation, or even if it is, I feel like you may have been trying to give someone a benefit of the doubt because I've been trying very hard to not give that low vibrational message. So it feels like you were probably on someone's side or you were trying to give them a the benefit of the doubt, but it's just like whatever is happening, like it cannot not be seen. Like it can't be unseen or unheard here. So let's see. Flip the first card over and we got the false person, okay? So something just cannot be avoided. Like it is what it is or something can no longer be covered up or it just can't be covered up this weekend with the false person. At the bottom, we got the coffin, okay? So it's like it's coming to an end though. So this could be some sort of exposure, whatever has been hidden, whatever has been done in the dark here. Um, it's coming to a closure with the coffin card, okay? Um, Scorpio energy, Okay, with this transformation. Behind that, we got the courthouse. The letter C could be very significant. Okay, behind that, we have thoughts and we have marriage. We have occupation. Now, this could be past energy. Like, all of this could have already happened. The shit could have already hit the fan. And again, this person could be coming back around trying to present to you an offer or get you to side with them or something like that. Um, but it's it's still very much so less than what you deserve. This person is still showing up as false here. Okay? And it, it seems like some sort of commitment, like somebody might try to spring something on you very quick or something very dramatic, okay? Or some sort of huge offer, occupation, home, mature woman, or somebody is like, somebody might need you, need your assistance or something like that. Um, but this is not a, this is not a trustworthy person. So use your discernment collective, okay? So let's see what the energy deck has to say. At the bottom, we have Blossoming Abundance, okay? Blossoming Abundance. We also have Anxiety. We have Door to Value, okay? It really, and we have Attachment, yeah, Financial Constraints. All of your losses, all the low vibrational, all the setbacks is attached to this person. Blossoming Abundance is either the energy that you are already in, and this individual, whether romantic or not, sees you doing very well, um, and wants to come back around to cipher you back into that same cycle, or you guys are, are on the verge of being in this blossoming abundance energy. Um, but it's like, I don't know. It feels like somebody around you is already, or will be trying to make you question yourself. Okay. Make you question a certain decision that you made. Um, door to value attachment and financial constraints a lot of y'all have been involved in a situation that you know that you're better than also okay with those two songs and with the cards that's popping out here and there's a need for you to detach from this because something is is like it's draining and ciphering your energy here 
okay? Or you're wondering, if you're wondering about anything, if you're good enough, if you're going to get something um, in regards to just money or some sort of position, it's a yes here. So if you're wondering if something's going to turn around for you or if it's going to go in your favor, okay, just in regards to you and not whoever this person is, the answer is yes, okay? So let's see. Leo could be significant with the angel of strength at the bottom. Woman holding the heart, spirit. Who or what is coming towards the collective this weekend? What is the energy looking like? Any clarity, any confirmation? Anything else that we need to know as a collective for this weekend? All right. Some of y'all, yeah, some of y'all are worried. Whatever it is you're worried about, if it's like financial um, or just like whatever it is, it's going to be a victory. Okay. So again, this weekend is a yes in terms of you and self-development and things that are good for you. But it feels like, like the thief and a false person around, like it's somebody lurking. Okay. Or somebody resurfacing, trying to get you to, um, re-engage or accept something that's like less than what you deserve. Or somebody's just trying to like steal that joy away from you. Okay, like somebody doesn't want you to move on and be happy or be happy without them. It's a very low vibrational, miserable energy lurking, okay, this weekend. So let's see. We got the throat chakra, okay, the fifth chakra here. So this is definitely someone coming and speaking up or this is some sort of truth. Whether you're speaking your truth or some sort of truth is being exposed to you or this, this is that person, some sort of communication is coming. But let's see how it goes. Patience, yeah, somebody could be wanting you to wait, stop, okay, have patience with them, don't move too fast, or don't do this, don't do that, just follow the rhythm of your own drum here, collective, this weekend, because I feel like somebody's trying to slow you down, the fifth chakra, with patience, okay, regardless of if they... Um, you know what you know and you know what you feel. So regardless of the image that this person portrays to you or to the world, somebody's trying to delay you in some sort of way here, okay? All right, some of you guys have also been waiting on some sort of information or communication or confirmation in regards to something. Um, and I feel as if you will get it. So maybe you were supposed to hear back from somebody, you know, a couple of days ago, yesterday, last week. It's been delayed, but we have rest and rejuvenate. So you're getting that peace of mind, that clarity, um, if that's in regards to anything else. What else? And we have Envy card. Yeah, I do feel as if, um, let's see. Killer of the ages and the seven chakra. There's definitely some sort of clarity that's coming through, something that's balancing out for you. It feels like you guys are waiting on something, okay? I'm getting a bunch of different messages here, so it may not tie into like the songs or the first half of the message, but um, you're like, you're for sure on something or you're for sure that you need to balance something out. You're for sure that you need to... Um, isolate yourself, retract your energy from a certain situation here. Like, you know that something or someone is only trying to hold you back. Like, they're envious. Somebody could be envious of you, your lifestyle, what you're doing for business, your dreams, your aspirations, whatever you're going after, okay? Or envious that you're leaving them behind, friend, family member, lover, ex-lover. Um, but something about this weekend is like you're getting clarity, okay, on, on a decision that you need to make, or you're getting confirmation that you've already made the right decision, or you're seeing signs, you're seeing pr some sort of proof that somebody here is like really, I want to say secretly trying to delay you because it feels like a lot of, you know, fakeness, phony energy. And I picked this up in the collective reading for Mercury Retrograde. So it kind of feels like a little bit of a spin off of that. If you resonate with this, go ahead and check out that reading if you haven't already. At the bottom, we get hostilities. Yeah. Or like somebody is, um, I feel like you guys, if you're not already, you're working on it or you will be this weekend or you soon will be like, you're very much so at peace. Okay. There you go. Confirmation. You're very much so at peace. Okay. Or unbothered. Okay, um, un, um, un, like you're not affected by something. Maybe this person has already tried again with you, okay? Or somebody could be trying to, like, I don't know why I'm hearing, like somebody could be trying to make you jealous. I feel like whatever tricks or tactics this person has already tried, or maybe they're trying this weekend and it's not working with the rest and rejuvenation, like you're focused on getting yourself out of this low vibrational energy, detaching yourself from this person, this situation, and it's making them angry here, okay? Because it's something about you having a gift, okay? Or you being very intuitive, or you having some sort of knowledge, or you having some sort of prize, or some sort of leg up in a situation, and it could just completely be the fact that you're no longer giving your energy to whatever this 
low vibrational um, energy is. But with hostilities card, someone is upset here. Okay, that you're not that you're not bothered or somebody is upset that you're not speaking to them. Somebody is upset that you're ignoring them. You're moving forward. Like whatever it is that they've been project projecting onto you or trying to is no longer working. Yeah. The world car is over here. Magician in the mirror. Somebody is very manipulative. Okay. Could be a Gemini or Virgo. That's just the magician energy. But also I feel like you put a stop to whoever is very hostile, very argumentative, very miserable, just very disturbed. Okay. I'm hearing mentally disturbed um first chakra all tied up storm warning this is definitely a warning that if you are thinking about re-engaging or going back to anything or anyone from the past especially if they have proven to uh be disloyal or betray you in any way like it's a no-go we got the journey card the door to spirit contract there's a new contract here okay it's like you need to hold back or you need to wait or you need to heal um, or you need to not allow somebody to try to push you or force you or convince you into a situation or make you feel guilty about something here, okay? The alarms keep going off. So um, let's pull these up and see what else comes out. Now, at the bottom of the Spellcaster's Tarot, we already have the Seven of Cups here. So this is illusions. This is confusion. This is illusion, the Seven of Cups. Okay, I feel like somebody is trying to like sell you a story here. They're trying to keep you stuck. The Two of Wands is right behind that, which is not necessarily one way or the other, but it's stuck. Like somebody has something to say to you to keep you from like moving on, disconnecting or doing something, especially with the Magician card here. Yeah, Magician Two of Wands. Somebody's trying to manage manifest you being stuck or not moving okay or not moving forward six of pentacles but this person has somebody something up their sleeve in their back pocket here okay four cups that they're not talking about it's a secret it's like a secret lover here or a secret connection lover's card ten of swords or something this person if they left you for somebody betrayed you for somebody ghosted you you don't know exactly why and they're resurfacing it's because whatever they chose over you didn't work out with this ten of swords yeah eight of wands knight of swords or somebody is just fighting with their significant other or whoever else that they were using okay it's just not working for them and it's like now they're trying to double back to you friend family member foe whoever like somebody yeah the hangman the hermit card king of swords oh the devil there's also other this could be this person's family like there's other people it could be the community family or someone who sees this person for who they are like somebody is getting cut off and they feel like they can run back to you oh we okay all right so let's see spirit messages for the collective this weekend who or what is coming towards the collective i just saw the, the ace of cups trying to pop out but it didn't and we got seven of pentacles i definitely feel like there's like an offer here on the table or somebody's gonna try to play on your emotions here or somebody's just trying any tactic to get to you to get you to respond to get you to see them to get you to give in to get you to come back the temperance card eight of cups and a temperance card but whatever this is it's like it doesn't affect you anymore things you used to trip over don't affect you anymore okay you just you just step over them now you just walk over them all right you could have sagittarius in your chart um but i see you very focused on like your peace your balance your your harmony yourself five of wands yeah and it's like somebody who holds a lot of drama causes a lot of drama or just a very like this person is always struggling they always need something they always need some money things are always going left for them the advice is for you to not help this person, okay? I feel like this is somebody who always gets themselves in the same type of situation. They never learn this, their lesson, okay? The Ace of Wands, Chariot. And it's like somebody who feels as if they can just run back to you and you just fix everything for them, okay? So let's see. They could be coming to you with some sort of sob story. Who or what is coming towards the collective this weekend, Spirit? Any clarity, any confirmation, anything else that we need to know? All right, any guidance? Who or what is coming towards the collective this weekend? I'm hearing not in my house. So somebody, I saw the chariot card, a cancer could be significant, um, but somebody could be, um, somebody could be asking you to like come to your house or to stay with you or move with you. Okay, we got the Empress card here, Libra Taurus energy, but this is you knowing your worth. Okay, this is also you, you know, standing in your power. I feel like you have kind of, built yourself back up, worked yourself back up, or you know that you're better than something now, okay? So if you used to hang out with this person, if you used to engage with this person, you used to help this person, like you realize that that's just something that you can no longer do, all right? 
Oh, we got the Ace of Cups here. Yeah, I feel like you guys are doing very well. All right. And it could just be attracting um, a certain individual, a certain people. The Empress with the Ace of Cups. What else? We got the Two of Wands. And we got the Strength card. I feel like you guys are doing a lot better. Okay, you're a lot better off after some sort of decision that was made separation like without someone um but somebody here is stuck two of wands um and the strength card here like somebody here is stuck they can't move they can't move forward or it just feels like they're wanting your assistance or your help in some sort of way here what else or somebody is like stuck or tied to like a leo we got the eight of pentacles and we got the tower card. Yeah, it's like somebody feels as if you can save them. Something that you have, something that you can do, you can say, okay, some sort of resources. Or somebody feels like you could save or you can shield them from something with the eight of pentacles to the tower. A Scorpio could be significant here, okay? Or somebody, um, or the advice is for you to save yourself from this tower moment, okay? Because I feel like you already know how a situation is going to play out. The eight of pentacles to the tower card. What else, spirit? Also, you could be like if you have if you're a feminine energy, this could be the father of your children. Because I feel like the Empress here could definitely be a mother, okay? Or maybe this is your mother. Um, but I feel like there's a mother figure that's involved. And I feel like if you are that motherly figure, like this person is wanting to like offer you this all of this love, could be love bombing you or something like that. Uh, two of Wands with the Strength card. It's just giving me the energy of like, like somebody is trying to come towards you, but they're not telling you something. And whatever is attached to this person, whatever they've been done, wherever they've been, okay, it's only going to bring you down. What else, Spirit? Yeah, Queen of Swords. Again, uh, the advice is for you to cut something, like shut something down here. Nine of Cups. All right, to be selfish. All right, don't feel like you're being selfish or don't feel guilty. Somebody might be trying to make you feel guilty. Nine of Cups, it's just like, no, it's all about you now, okay? So maybe there's a certain person or people that just are really wanting your time, your attention, wanting you to do things for them. And this weekend, you need to take time to yourself. You need to pour into yourself. Some of y'all need to learn how to say no. It could very much so be family members or people who are very close to you, okay, that you need to learn how to tell no to with the Ace of Cups. The nine of cups is ten of cups, okay? Family energy. It's a lot of Libra here. The Empress, the Queen of Swords, and the Justice card here. I just keep getting somebody. Somebody is going through karma or they're expecting you to balance something out. It's like you have the ability. You got it. You have the money, the resources. You can make things happen. Like, um, But you won't, okay? Or you shouldn't. Not for this person. Or you shouldn't. Five of Pentacles, leaving them out in the cold, abandoning this issue. Somebody is going through karma. Somebody could also be like somebody is stuck because they're being put out here. A Libra could be be, be putting someone out or a, someone's mother could be putting them out or cutting them off. Or you need to leave out this person or cut off this person. Yeah, don't, don't. Don't interfere with somebody's karma, okay? Because you'll take on that person's karma. That's what it is, especially if you know somebody, whether it's romantic or not, you know somebody that's always, always down on their luck, always, always needs your help or someone else's help, but they keep making the same decisions. They keep getting themselves in the same situations. Like, I feel like they're not telling you the full story here and they're the cause of of the karma that they're receiving. So don't interfere with their karma and take on their karma by trying to help them out. Cause this is something, this is a lesson that somebody else needs to learn and it has nothing to do with you. Okay. We got the two of swords. Everything about this is saying no, like that you need to say no or protect your energy here. Two of swords, what else spirit? And the knight of pentacles. Two of swords is cutting something out. Okay. And the knight of pentacles is a hard stop, a hard no. Somebody's trying to run to you. Okay. Or somebody is trying to, um, Somebody's trying to like make want you to help them cover something up or somebody is trying to cover something up. It's like they want you to help them, but they're not giving you the full story here. OK, or they're trying to come back, but they're not. It's something that you don't know. OK, you need to stop this tower before it even happens. One more row. 
Knight of Wands, yes, yeah, send them running back to wherever they came from. Knight of Wands with the death card. This person is very in and out and inconsistent in the first place, okay? It's one of those, if they feel like they can't get it to you, they're going to try the next person. I feel like they've already done that to you, okay? So leave them where they're at. Scorpio is definitely significant for some of you guys, um, but it's a lot of Scorpio, Scorpionic energy, a lot of like hidden energy, dark energy, secretive energy, low vibrational type of energy here. What else? We got the sun card. Yeah. And you, it's like, you know, this, a lot of y'all, this is definitely somebody you have kids with, whether you're a male watching this or a female watching this. Okay. Um, some of y'all are just sending somebody back to wherever they came from, or you're telling them to go back to wherever they came from. We got the page of source. It's like, you know, somebody is lying here too. Like somebody is coming back with the same lies. Some of y'all like this, this person is watching you. Okay. Um, I don't know. They may or may not be communicating this weekend, but it's like maybe going into next week. This person sees you as very abundant, very bright, very light, like almost like having it all or having something that they want. Like it's somebody that wants to come up off of you or wants to just like bask in like something or everything that you work for. Something or everything that you work for. The seven of pentacles, you've been putting in work here. Okay. Or you need to put in some sort of work to make a decision to cut something or someone out. Seven of cups here. Okay, somebody is really trying to get you to feed in double sevens, protection, 77 could be significant. Okay, maybe somebody was born in the year 77, does not have to be. All right, um, something about 2007 could be significant, the year 2007 also. But somebody is trying to come up with some sort of story, scheme, lies to get you to invest into some bullshit. It's plain and simple. Seven of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, trying to get you to believe this illusion, okay? Or just go with the flow. Something about just going with the flow or, you know, let's not talk about it now. Like they just want you to go alone or be strong alone in a situation. The Magician card here. Again, like this person, what's behind it? Yeah, three of swords. This person can be very manipulative or just do or say anything to get what they want, okay? Um, but also, somebody is like intentionally trying to cause you some sort of loss or heartache or, heart, or heartbreak, okay? The three of swords, the two of cups, um, and the queen of pentacles. For a lot of y'all, this is just flat out an ex-lover or somebody you had some sort of relationship with. Um, even if it, was, if it was platonic, that you put boundaries up. You've already set boundaries or you need to. Seven of Wands, Judgment, and the Hierophant. Yeah, on this connection, this marriage, Ace of Swords, shut it down. Knight of Cups, Queen of Wands. Somebody coming back from this King or Queen of Wands. Ace of Wands, cheer, like somebody's being forced to move or they're being put out, okay? Or whatever it was, whatever the vice was, whatever the person was, whatever the temptation was, it's not going well, okay? And this person that's coming back around, you're all solid and stable as this king or queen of pentacles, whether you have earth in your chart or not. Um, and it's just gonna bring down your vibration here. All right, so let's just pull one more card for the collective. Damn, it's a 30 minute video. Final messages, okay? The number 30 could be significant. All right, somebody could be the age of 30 as well. Final messages for the collective spirit for this weekend. We got walkabout. It says, you discover your path and sacred walkabout. The trees are your people. The earth is your tribe. The lesson In the lessons, you find the will to survive. Okay, I feel like you've made it out of something already. You've already walked away. Walkabout, you've already walked away. Do not go back to this troubling situation. At the bottom, we have inner power. By your own command, you brought yourself here. At this moment in life, you have nothing to fear. So I don't know if somebody is trying to make you feel like you won't make it. Someone's trying to threaten you. Someone's trying to stop you. Whatever it is, it won't work as long as you make the decision that you know is best for you, okay? So I'm going to leave it here. Leave me a comment below letting me know how this resonates for you. Um, if you've made it this far, you would like to leave a donation to the channel. You can click the thanks button at the bottom of each video or cash at Pure Black Magic. And I will talk to you guys soon.